Little Havana is not so little when it comes to influence in politics. What happens in Miami matters, especially when it comes to the GOP race for presidency. Santo, 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 Santo el Cordero. Oh, yes, this is how we uh, fix the world problems here in Miami. <laughs> Dominus is as Cuban as the flag. A day in the park. I've been playing Domino since I was born. Domino Park. <laughs> Always means politics. <laughs> you mean how many times a day? Especially here? <laughs> it's, it's a constant conversation here. Locals say politics will be on topic at these tables. The locking culture is here. Long before. You were either with or against. So Cuban has always been about politics. And long after. Politicians always catering to, to the Cuban vote. Politicians take the stage nearby for the Republican presidential debate. We all flee from whatever country to come here because of politics or bad politics in our case. When I come in here, I, I don't have nothing in Cuba. No, no, I wanted a freedom. This is where we, where the Cuban come. In Little Havana. Republicans always cater, you know, to the Spanish or the Cuban bowl. Let me say that. Let me rephrase that. No shortage of sights, sounds, tastes, and smells. I'm already used to cameras, man and big personalities. Big Papa, they really call me Big Papa. Here in Little Havana, if you get lost, you go, you ask for Big Papa Little Havana, you'll find me. But, okay, tacaron, pero que paso? With big opinions when it comes to politics, why is the Hispanic vote, the Cuban vote, such an important voting block for the GOP, for the Republican Party, in your opinion? Well, you know what? We need a big change and we need it now, not for tomorrow. We need it now. The importance of the Cuban vote in Miami. They always come, they always uh, stop at Versailles, you know. It's crystal clear. Here in Florida, a uh, Hispanic vote is very, very key. FAU political science professor Kevin Wagner. Republicans have had a lot of success in Miami Dade, especially in recent uh, election cycles. They've done very well with the Cuban American vote historically, but specifically in the last election cycle, for example, Ron DeSantis did very, very well down in Miami Dade. Are there Hispanic voters for Republicans to still win over in Miami-Dade? One of the things that we say in political behavior is it's not necessarily the number of people you convince, it's the number of people that you convince to actually go vote. It's, it's about journey. The Cuban vote. I am Rolando Chang Barrero, the president of the Democratic Hispanic Caucus of Florida. Is just one of many key Hispanic voting blocks in Florida. I think in politics, everybody wanted to keep it simple for a long time. They just used the word uh, Hispanic voting block. I think that was smashed a while ago. I haven't heard that term for a while um, because of the, the diversity. Back in Little Havana, for now, life goes on. All you need is a domino table a shot of uh, espresso and a mojito and everything is great. Life is great. With perhaps a bit more politics in the future days and months to come. We live politics here, day in, day out. In Miami, I'm Tori Dunnan reporting.